Hey guys, Steph the Illuminated Nerd here. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some laptop uh, coolers. I've got two that I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got uh, what's called a cooling pad where you put your laptop on it and there's fans that push air into the laptop. And another one, a smaller device that goes on the exhaust of the laptop. So let's get right into it. So first the cooling pad, there's a little lip that comes out and then there's these little legs that you can uh, retract so that you can actually place your laptop on the pad at an angle. Uh, that's what we're going to do right here. And then you can uh, use a USB cable to plug the pad into your laptop so that you power it. Uh, and you can see that it's powered up if you see uh, lights that are uh, turning on where the fans are. And the second device uh, that we're going to show you is the side exhaust fan, which you also just plug into a USB port. And uh, the little suction cups go underneath uh, the side of your laptop where the exhaust is. Uh, assuming you have a side exhaust, not every laptop does. Uh, here's an example of what that looks like where the little suction cup part from the exhaust, it has to cover the whole exhaust, which is why there's three different sizes that comes with the cooler. So I've already got one installed into the device here, and I'm just going to put the device over the exhaust and there's these two little gray uh, things that you can pop out and that way it'll just sort of hang on the side of your laptop like that and so that it forms a seal around the exhaust of the laptop. Uh, because this is up on that pad uh, there's a little bit of a height issue there where it's creating a tiny gap because it's kind of leaning backwards so I'm just gonna put something underneath the cooler so that it holds it up and creates that seal that it needs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a baseline test that will help us see uh, how hot the laptop gets without any of the fans turned on. Um, we're just going to run it for 10 minutes. I've got my uh, hardware info open so that I can see the CPU temperature of my GPU and of my CPU during the test. Um, and I'm going to run uh, some benchmarking software and turn it max so that there's like times 8 anti-aliasing so it's on extreme mode so it will definitely uh, push the heat of my video card uh, to a, a fairly decent high level and uh, let's fast forward and see what this looks like at the end of the 10 minutes. Alright, so here we are at just about 10 minutes and we have a uh, max of 75 degrees Celsius and an average of 70, 72 degrees Celsius uh, on the GPU. And as for the CPUs, uh, averages are between 74 and 76 and maximum CPU temperature between 79 and 87 degrees Celsius during the test. Now that we have our baseline numbers, I repeat the test with uh, the cooling pad turned on to see the differences between the cooling pad and baseline. Uh, with the cooling pad turned on, we were getting about one degree less compared to the baseline test. Uh, that was disappointing. I was actually hoping better for just the cooling pad on its own. So then we try the test again with just the side exhaust cooler turned on at its minimum speed. Uh, I only get uh, worse than the baseline results here, however the cooler was whisper quiet and the laptop fans never kicked in at all uh, during that test, so that was interesting. Uh, so I run the test with a speed of 3, 7, and 13 on the side exhaust cooler and the max speed um, was actually kind of loud, easily as loud as the laptop fans when they're kicked in, uh, but I got uh, you know 6 degrees less overall. Um, on the GPU and the CPU, so I think that's a great success there. Uh, and for my last test, I actually run the test again, but with the side cooler installed and with the uh, laptop uh, cooler, um, the laptop cooler underneath installed at the same time. I run the test, and again, we're getting even better results with the two combined. So that's interesting. Uh, that's now my new setup when I travel with my laptop. They the um, the cooling pad fits in my laptop bag and so does the uh, side exhaust cooler so that's interesting and so if you've got a really hot laptop maybe give these a try and I'll see you in the next one.